hi guys welcome to tutorial space with myself Ola and in this tutorial we will be dealing with the edit sketch and sketch plane tools now these tools are not found here with the normal tools in this ribbon so if I select here we do not see any edit sketch or edit sketch plane tool but then how do we do this We've gone through the process first of all of creating our sketches and with this sketch already created here what if I made a mistake with this definitely the software should be able to allow for editing and that is why we have the edit sketch tool there are two ways to go about this I could come over to the sketch and right click and then here I see the edit sketch tool or I could come over to the sketch here under the feature manager tree right click also and then still see the edit sketch so i select on this and but before i do that we do notice that the exit sketch icon is missing here and that's because this sketch as it is right now is not yet active so i need to explain to us that while your sketch is active you do not need to do any edit sketch because all the edit sketch is doing is that making that particular sketch which in this case is this sketch one we are going back into the sketch that is making it active at this point i select on this and then you notice that the confirmation corner is back here all right so having done this i can click on a2 and then create changes to what we had there before I make this come out and let's just assume that this is what I want the new sketch to be I could also go over to trim and I would like you to know that you can use any tool within this sketch ribbon why is that so? It's simply because we have gone into the particular sketch that we selected to edit and then it's assuming that the sketch is being created afresh so everything you can do to a new sketch is what you can do when you go back to edit sketch so i trim this trim this accept my trim now there's something very important here for us to know which is when you are done editing your sketch you have the option of selecting this or cancel and this cancel means if I select this right now, it said discard the changes to the sketch. The sketch will revert to the state it was before you edited it. Now I do not want to discard the changes I've made, so I'll say cancel this and instead I select on this. So this approves the sketch, and as you can see, the same sketch one has been converted from just a pure circle into this shape here. All right. So moving on to the editing sketch plane we don't know that our sketch is on the front plane as shown here however i already created a plane one which is here now mind you that the planes could be renamed by just clicking on it and then changing the name so for this case we leave it as plane one the plane is also a feature too so that is the reason why we have it in this feature manager the same way we're able to edit our sketch we are able to edit any feature whatsoever you have here so if i select on this plane right click you notice here edit feature so selecting on this will help me to edit my plane but for this tutorial this is not our concern so i come back here we are trying to change the plane of this sketch now remember what the plane is from the early tutorials the plane is like a paper surface where we create our sketches as you notice that this sketch is completely on this plane while this plane is empty so i right click this sketch from here and come over here to say edit sketch plane now that i've done that we notice the only function showing here is choose the sketch plane or face we want to place as a new plane now also remember 
at in the early period of this tutorial series, I explained that your plane doesn't have to be this kind of plane. It could also be a straight or flat face. So for now, I'll come here, right click and say clear this selection. I want to change it to plane one. I come over here to the drop down, click and then move to where plane one is. But then you notice something is happening. The plane one isn't being selected and as a matter of fact, it looks as if it is not active. Now there's a reason to that. So if I go back to cancel this, you notice that the plane one is below the sketch created. Which simply means that what is below cannot affect what is above. So this is the root of this feature manager tree where it starts from here these three planes and then goes on to this sketch so for me to change this sketch onto this plane one i need to move this plane one above sketch one so what do i do it's really simple i just click and drag move below origin and i drop just as simple as that it has been changed and then I come over here, edit sketch plane again, clear this, clear selections, and then I come here. You notice that the plane one now has a different color. So I select my plane one. Please do not forget that this sketch automatically was on this plane, the plane in front. I've selected plane one and I click on check. Now what do you notice? The sketch has been moved over to plane one. I could take it back, right click, edit the sketch plane, and as simple as I select front plane. Check. The sketch is back to the front plane. Alright. So that also is very, very, very simple. But then we'll go over to a very easy tool which is also suppress and unsuppress you remember before that while this plane one was below sketch one it had a gray scale kind of color and that's because it was suppressed at that point now you have the option to suppress features and sketches yourself all i need to do is i come over to the feature manager tree right click and then you notice this here, suppress, moving from color to grayscale. I select on this and then it has been suppressed. I will come back here, right click and go back to this on suppress and it is on suppressed. Alright, so guys, this is where we end with these two. And if you have comments and questions relating to this tutorial, feel free to drop them at the comment section. Also, if you like this video, do not forget to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe. To make it even better, hit the notification bell to be notified when new uploads are made. And with all of this said, I will see you in the next tutorial where we will treat the blocks too.